Happy New Year and good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day of 2023. Subscribe, like, comment, message us, email us, call us, FaceTime us, all the things. We love you guys. What better way to start the year than a nice, calm Lake Michigan, 44 degrees, a little gloomy out. Ain't nothing wrong with a little gloomy Chicago, right? Just doing a quick 5K, you know, as Mr. Ryan would say. Uh, and then we got to get ready to go to Florida. We got to pack, we got to clean, got to prep, run a couple errands. You just got to get a haircut because she is way too thick to be going in the Florida heat with all that fur. So happy Sunday, everybody. Are we live in Antarctica? With glaciers and stuff? That's kind of cool. I also know what a glacier is. I understand that that's not a glacier. Don't come at me in the comments, please. Alrighty. I'm getting ready to edit. I got my beverages. I just downed this. <laughs> um, chocolate milk and eggnog. We got to get rid of everything in our fridge. And that's such a holiday drink. And now it's New Year's Day. Like, that's officially like the end of the holidays um i also feel really cool when i drink out of mason jars because all the cool kids in art school did this but you always had to be careful that it wasn't like from paintbrushes <laughs> it was a regular fear this like looks like paintbrush water um but anyways got water and my little drink and i feel cool and I really didn't do that much myself because I was a design major. My degree is in, it's a Bachelor of Design. Um, but I had friends who had were in the arts and I would go to like their studios. And so I'd be jealous because around like computers and stuff, they didn't really like, like you having open containers. I don't know <laughs> why that sparked a memory in me. Um, but yes, getting the vlog done and you can see behind me plenty of laundry and packing i actually feel really good about where we are um and so hopefully we get to bed at a good time i'll put this clip back in when we actually go to bed and see see if i jinxed us um but the boys just left teddy's napping and I'm just gonna get this done so i can keep checking off the to-do list uh, james and i are at target stocking up on last minute snacks water Diapers, wipes, all the fixins, right? He's playing. All right, James, we're going to a very special place in Evergreen for lunch. Just me and him, a little, little date called Pappy's. It's like the epitome of Evergreen food. Get some chicken chicken tenders or something. There's a pictures of your, your grandpa and your mom and your aunts all over this place because they're a big sponsor from so for the girls' softball. Alright, we got our dips. We got some Pepsi. Mm. He's scoping out the place. We're in our booth. Wait, think, where are you going? Wait for this French fry. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Let's see if we can get the French fry dip technique. Oh. Dip, dip, dip. Nice. So here's in the sponsor for. We're gonna put girls softball. There's Sarah's dad and Sarah and a couple of them. And her sisters are in some of these too. Right there, top right, Mr. Ryan. Do you see that countdown behind us? It's a one. It's a one. Where did the day go so far? Well, it's 2.30. James fell asleep on the drive back. So I was putting Teddy down for a nap, but I actually had to grab, I brought James in, I had to, I left the car on the curb, and I quickly had to grab Eve, because she needs to go to her grooming. So I dropped her off at her grooming, so I'm gonna chill for like 10 minutes. And then I need to like, I emptied most of the car just now, with like the groceries, and then some of the garbage, and I need to like get the rest of the groceries kind of going. 
uh, I bought a bunch of water bottles I'm gonna empty a little bit out of them and then put them in the freezer so they'll be acting like our cooling packs for the next two days in the car and then get out to the car and start like vacuuming it cleaning it washing things down so it's extra good and feels fresh in there for the car ride because we'll have two longer days in the car with two babes and a puppy It'll be exciting I have heard that lentils <coughs> For good luck on New Year's. And so I remembered I had lentil soup, so I made some. James is up from his nap. Now Teddy's snoozing. Daddy's going to pick up Evie. We are getting stuff done. We're also watching Bluey, as usual. Okay, it's looking like we're in the chaos before the calm. It is 5.30 and we are like, getting there we are on like the cusp of like really feeling good i feel good overall i know like sometimes when we've packed for this like we've been up until like all hours of the night and then you want to get on the road at a decent hour so then you want to get enough sleep and i think i think it's going to be good i think we're in a really good place here's our last load of laundry for the trip so i'm gonna fold this up and finish i think I think that's the next task for us to get done is finish packing. Then Peter can start getting the car loaded. He got it all clean just now. Um, right now he's actually packing up all of his running stuff. So we are traveling for the Dopey Challenge, a big run Disney weekend. And so that's very important. So he is doing that. And then I'm going to take over the rest of just normal clothes packing. Tell me you're a... Uh packing for Dopey Weekend without telling me you're packing for Dopey Weekend. Okay, dinner is very simple tonight. Basically just using what's in the fridge. So I have some romaine lettuce with lime juice, salt and pepper. Then I'm topping that with rice, beans, and soy chorizo. We also have guac and salsa. And here's how we're serving it to Jamesy. Just all mixed up. Okay, I'm going to go over my packing strategy for our family for road tripping, which is not that different than um, like what we just did in November, but I just figured I could give you a quick rundown of it. I set out our like morning of clothes, easy access. So, you know, Peter goes and takes a shower, he can grab his, and then um, I have extra outfits for the kids in the diaper bag just in case we need extra. Um, so yeah, this looks a little disheveled because it's a smaller table, but this is just where tomorrow's morning of clothes are. Then I have packed our single bag that we'll bring into our Airbnb. So when we road trip to Florida from Chicago, we split it up. So we'll be stopping in Nashville tomorrow. So in here I have pajamas for everybody. Um, and then our clothes for the next day, as well as like fresh socks, fresh undies, all of that. And then we do hope to get to Florida early enough to go out and about in Disney. So I have a change of clothes after the car in here. That way we don't have to fumble through the luggage. Everything we need for our second travel day is just in this one bag here. Obviously with driving, we have a little bit more space. And so it might seem like, oh, we have a lot of bags, but at the same time we can organize them and know what to bring in where, and um, then everything has its place. And then we also don't overdo it. So like, it's not like we have a bag for everything. We really try to be mindful of what fits. And again, another extra bag. We're gonna be using this while we're in Florida and on the cruise. It attaches to our stroller um, when it's a single. But for now, it has extra wipes and diapers. Okay, and here is my um, list. It actually, the reason that it's not filled out on this size because I hadn't decided what like Peter and I were gonna be wearing. I have what, kind of what the boys are gonna wear. That's, that's the work I have to get done now. Um, but again, I start my packing by listing an outfit for each day. Then I know that we have something for each day and then I will pack basically just like one or two extras. And by extras, I mean like an extra pair of leggings and two extra shirts for me. The boys probably like three or four extra outfits each, just in case there is like a change in temperature or the weather, I'll have a couple sweatshirts. Um, the boys will 
like I said, we'll have more extras given they might have an accident or they might get more like dirty, have need, need a change of clothes. Um, so I make sure that I have one outfit for every day or every event. Like for example, the mornings of the races are going to be chillier. So the boys have a warmer outfit and then it's going to be like in the seventies in the day. So then they have like a warmer outfit or a, an outfit in warm weather. Um, so that is how that I plan that out. So I basically have all the clothes here. It's a little overwhelming, um, but I'm just going to go through that list, pile them in chronological order and yeah, see what else. Everything is washed and folded. So if, if it's not in here, it's out in the living room and then finish, finish this up. <laughs> While mom packs. <laughs> So busy. Oh. Alrighty, now for our cruise luggage. This is going to have some additions after we do laundry while in Florida, but for now, this top portion is the boys' clothes. I did choose an outfit for them each day and then for dinner each night. So they are in chronological order. That helps me mentally know they have enough outfits. Um, and then Peter and I's, ours are in the same same way chronological order as well as a little light jacket for him and a little sweater for me so this one i'm adding in my robe and then this one is the first one officially done okay ours is all zipped up and by the door and now here is the boys i did theirs a little bit differently i did plan outfits for each day but just for the space of this smaller suitcase i didn't organize them by day. So it's just like shirts, pants. Um, Teddy has like little rompers, James same shirts, bottoms, rompers, shoes fit in, and then socks here. This is why I love the bug and bill and our new luggage. Also scuffed up the new luggage already, but hey, guess what? It's a little dirt that'll rub off and that's what it's made for. We have Sarah and me, the boys, the crews, crews packed separately. Boys, Sarah and me here, Bugaboo disassembled with Bugaboo bag full of extra wipes and diapers. All in the back, unobstructed, unobstructed view. I could probably sneak something else right here. I don't want to get crazy. All right, we got all our swim stuff in a beach bag packed, along with some presents we're bringing along. And then here are the boys' toys. This basket has some ready to go snacks and toys for the car that I'll have like right at the ready and then because we are going to be there a decent amount of time oh no Mickey has something on him um we have this basket of toys as well that'll be at the Airbnb probably more so the Airbnb than when we're like on the cruise or at the resort and we don't want to overdo it with the toys but that like the first four nights um Peter is going to be working and I want to like set myself up for success with the boys whenever we're at the Airbnb. Um, and so to have options to kind of occupy them is really helpful. So I like what works best for me is just choosing a vessel and keeping the, all of the toys in the one vessel. And then you basically give yourself that restriction. We are also bringing an additional box of Legos. Um, maybe I, <laughs> Peter said I thought everything was gonna go in the bin but it's like its own vessel it would take up the whole basket um, and he really likes building right now plus it has like the little train um, so we'll see but I think giving yourself a restriction um, really helps like reining it in and then we have our electronics bag getting situated and then toiletries, snacks, and Eve's items. One in the morning. Only a few more things to do before we go. I didn't expect us to be up this late, but I still have, I haven't felt stressed. Good. Do you feel stressed? I'm stressed about how full the band's gonna be. Okay, well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it's good, good to, to be, be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.